That well, looks to be as close as I can get to it. Not falling in the river anyway. Good force now today. Back on the path now. See what the delights we can discover. I can imagine in the springtime we will be full of flowers. We must have to come back, I guess. Maybe we better lock down by the day, who knows? And you can pee for Britain. Sit still, stop it. Well, folks, cool daddy. Not what I expected. I've been here it's a long time ago. It's well maintained, paths are useful but muddy. It's plenty to see, more so in the springtime I think. Um, there's history of it as well, which is worth looking into. So uh, put it on your list to have a good have a walk up, especially through lockdown. Very few people use this little ground and um, it gets forgotten about real. I quite enjoyed my afternoon in it. I'm going to take a little stroll down the river now and see if we can spot some other little delights. And then um, hopefully we'll do after editing. Maybe put it up on YouTube, who knows? Maybe it's good enough. Uh, much success than the gimbal so far. Just to tell you, I'm using the Panasonic Lumix G9, which is great for stills and uh, photography. It's got so much stuff on it, it baffles me. I don't know what's going to must be my age, I think. Well, I'm going to give up on it. It's much lighter than the camera. And um, I can carry it for longer than I get the neck. So, uh, maybe we'll do some more. Anyway, if you like it, put a like to it. And uh, subscribe, or I guess how you do it sometime. If it's of no use, you'll never see it again. I don't know if you can just see the water, it's got a sort of a bluish tinge to it. Or is it my imagination? Who knows? Anyway, we'll fold it as far as we can. It eventually ends up in Glen Willen, this. And this one here will be going over the weir. And I remember Glen Willen when I had a large boating pond. Sunday school picnics will always end up at Glen Willen and little two stroke motorboats. They were very fast, or so I thought. And I think that's now more or less washed into the sea. Yeah, it does have a blue tinge to it. Be the full as earth. 
you'll see some big chunks of sometimes on Kirkmichael Beach after a storm. You can see by the stones how much of a swell it has sometimes after a storm. This whole thing would be flooded. Bits of orange you can see out of the match with iron ore or some such thing. I think it has been archaeologically uh, excavated or checked out. I don't know whether they found anything or not really. It's a river walk and it's not as easy as I thought. So like Penny really, four legs and couldn't care less about wet feet. As I said to you before though, it's definitely worth coming and have a look at it. I'll leave it a few more weeks until some of the spring flowers come out. Which they will. And we're more or less back where we started from. Another the big tree across the river. You happen to join me. How honored am I? Lots of stuff this afternoon has been shot on a gimbal, which is a hard going, tiring, but it does seem to stop it being jerky. Now this is just handheld with image stabilization on the Panasonic. Lens is 12 by 60. Anyway, we're heading off home. Let's see what it looks like. A cup of tea. It's gonna get cold tonight, I think. A great day. I had a guy give me some advice about gimbals. So not to give up on it. It's a Cyan gimbal. It's a Mark II, I think. I did have it on the camera before, but the camera's too heavy for it. This one's obviously not that heavy. Just coming up to a lovely big rhododendron bush. On the right there, it's going to be a picture when it comes into flower. Just going to remind myself to come back. The spring flowers are out. We should be with another trip. I used to be alone with the Glen over the years, but they seem to always end up in bankrupt. There's Mr. Grundy and Mr. Cowell. 
I spent a lot of money on it. And, um, never got anywhere. It was rumoured to have 50,000 tonnes of Fuller's Earth if you could get out, of it, but they never did. Machinery still in the Glen for the little uh, engine and so forth, and there's cogs and stuff like here and there. And obviously, worth checking out, but they'll never be used again, I'm afraid. I may leave this clip in just for the sake of people seeing what you can do. With, uh, modern cameras. I always wanted to have uh, let the camera move rather than static subjects. I know it go against the grain, but I just felt it was more interesting. That's what I wanted to see anyway. Go home and have a go in the Adobe Elements Premiere. Get rid of the rubbish and hopefully come up with a result that's worth watching. I said, if you're not in the Isle of Man, this cool dairy is Kirk, near Kirk Michael. It's about half an hour in the TT course. This is again been cancelled for another year. Weather will start again, who knows? Sometimes when things stop, it takes a lot to get them going again. It does make the Alamant come alive though, to be fair. An awful lot of businesses depend on it for their livelihood. Although the government has been backing them out. Uh, backing them out. Supporting them quite substantially, I think. The music you're going to hear or heard on the track was by the uh, Metallic Venom Band. It's nice instrumental Manx music, I love the way it sounds, it goes well with what I do. And they're very kind of me to uh, use some of their tracks on this particular video. So check them out, Culture Valley, and they've probably got their own uh, website and CDs and stuff as well. So give them a listen, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And this is the way in from uh, Glen Willen. I drove my car up, it's a bit rough for an ordinary car, but I thought it would be alright to hear, I'm sure. And this track behind me. Meanders on up to the hills. Often you know, bikers will use it, and runners and walkers too, I guess. <laughs> 